What is going on YouTube? Hinnebeck making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we'll be doing something a little bit different than what we usually do. Uh, besides talking about Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP doing our daily charting, we will be doing, as you guys saw in the title, a comparison video. I want to compare Litecoin to XRP. And I think there are two huge com uh, communities behind XRP and behind Litecoin. And I want to kind of weigh out the pros and cons to both and give you guys which one I like better. Now, I figured this would stir up the pot a little bit and I kind of wanted to hear your guys' feedback as well on this because I know you guys have some strong opinions and I'd like you to change my mind. Um, otherwise, guys, let's move on to the episode. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. I will be doing a huge giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, which is right around the corner. So definitely make sure to smash that subscribe button. Otherwise, let's jump right in. So as you can see, we're on the current coin market cap and we have a current market cap of 245 with a 24 hour volume of 81 billion and a Bitcoin dominance of 55.8%. So Bitcoin dominance is staying fairly similar, very um, flatline compared to where we were yesterday. We are seeing a semi increase in 24 hour volume and a small decrease in the market cap, indicating the markets are slowly retracing or starting to retrace. You can see out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies, out of the top 10, all of them seem to be in red and down except for Tether, which is the stable token. But you can see out of these top 10 cryptos, Litecoin is still holding number five spot quite. Actually, it's really not that far away from Bitcoin Cash, only about, I'd say, four and a half million dollars, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Um, otherwise, the other coins are kind of decreasing by only, I'd say, three to four percent max. So I'd say majority of the market is only down by three to four percent. There are some coins that are down double digits and some that are up 10 percent. So Otherwise, I think the market does look like it is in some sort of consolidation you know, position. But let's move on to the more important stuff and discuss the current chartings and really get a general opinion and overview of where the market's headed, as well as comparing these altcoins to each other. So we're on Litecoin right now, and Litecoin is definitely taking a very big power play right now. This was something we were definitely waiting for and we're expecting. You know, A lot of people were like, when is this retracement gonna happen? When are we gonna start to fall? When are we gonna pull back down? And we were being patient and a lot of people got very antsy and negative in this wait here, this this eight day consolidation wait where the price literally stayed the same. We did have a pretty big hiccup a couple of days ago where we traded really far down and then retraced right back up to the same point, indicating that 116 is a huge, and I mean huge, resistance level. But besides that, we do look quite well. You know, seeing resistance at 116 falling to a retracement level of 102 does give us a deciding factor that 101, you know, this uptrend, the top of our ascending wedge, may be uh, the key support level. You can see we've been following this ascending wedge for those of you who are new ever since the beginning of the year, and the price has literally been trailing in that for quite some time now. This doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's something we definitely need to, you know, use in terms of our charting. And you can see we're currently testing that price. So there is chances that we can fall lower. Now we did dollar cost average and buy in at around 101, which is a good price level to start buying in. That was right near the uptrend. Now on eToro that I use, it is semi um, delayed. So it's unfortunate. I would use Coinbase, but you know, I'd rather not reveal trades and things on there. So we're gonna use eToro for right now. But you can see with this retracement right here, we did bottom out, find a support here, and we could potentially start to trade up. So this is definitely a possibility in the more short, short term. You can see we're on 49 on the RSI, which is plenty, you know, plenty of support to move up higher. There's plenty of room to not only grow to 115, which I do think the price will eventually retest again, but it gives us that that slow and steady growth that we're really looking for. Uh, otherwise, we can see a dip. You know, we could pull back down to 88. And I know a lot of you guys are going to hate me for this, but it's definitely possible that we could fall to $79. Like with this high low MMA slowly creeping up. Actually, I take it back, not 79, but with the high low MMA slowly creeping up and the downtrend following it, it could meet at around $87. I know there's a big difference from 79, but $87 may be that bottom rock bottom buy-in zone because that will meet up with the high level MMA and that will not only send the Litecoin down to uh, oversold levels, it'll give us a good reason to start to trade back up and move higher. So that is honestly really, really, really great to see within Litecoin. Now, taking a step further, I wanna compare Litecoin to Ethereum, or sorry, Litecoin to XRP. 
XRP is number three, Litecoin is number five. We're not gonna discuss the company as much as I would like to discuss the charting. So we do have uh, an XRP market cap of 16.7 billion and Litecoin's is 6.3. The token is 39 cents for XRP while Litecoin is $100. And I know that may be like deterring some people from investing. A lot of people see Litecoin in the third spot and they're like, oh my God, 39 cents, maybe this will be the next Bitcoin. But what they fail to acknowledge is the fact that we see XRP having 42 billion tokens in circulation. And that's not even the total circulating supply or the total supply of coins that they have. While Litecoin is just 62 million. So XRP has quite a bit more indicating that there's much more um, tokens out there in, in general lowering the volatility or lowering the uh, the rarity of the tokens and inevitably makes the price a little lower. Not to say that you can't make money off that. You sure as shit can because you can just you know accumulate more tokens. Uh, another thing I'd like to point out is the fact that XRP's volume is only two, I believe that's two million while Litecoin is 4 million, 4.3 million. So we have four, uh, you know, we have a, the volume is double for Litecoin, meaning like it has a much better use case than XRP. And the fact that it's much higher is due to the fact that there's so much widespread adoption and it's on practically all the exchanges. It's very easy to use indicating that people are trading with it more. So that's another positive thing. XRP is more for these privatized banks and they're trading more in the banking system while Litecoin is more for the retail investors like you and I, for the retail merchants like businesses like we saw the Lamborghini place, accepting Litecoin as a means of payment. It's more user friendly for beginners. That's kind of how I like to look at it. Now looking at XRP's chart, you can see XRP on its, um, I think this is Bitfinex to US dollar on the daily chart is in sort of a retracement period. Now there does seem to be a pretty strong resistance, which I did not draw and I'll draw now. This is huge right here. So a great buying opportunity that I might take advantage of is right at this line here at 36.80. So uh, 36 cents, you know, and and eight and an eighth. No, it's not even an eighth. 36.3684. I'm just gonna read it like that. Um, I can't do quick maths off the top of my head while I'm recording. But you can see right around here is a beautiful retracement level it looks beautiful there's no support where it's currently at so the next best one that's heading to is 37 or sorry 36 point or point 36 eight and that will lower our rsi back down probably to the 39 to 35 on the rsi which is great potential to move up higher so honestly both coins look very 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 good in terms of investing uh we're starting to notice that Litecoin has more of an uptrend in its long term than XRP does. We did have that massive spike, but you can see XRP is merely just trading out sideways in between 46 cents and 28 cents. We're not seeing much of a pull to the upside. We haven't seen that since pretty much, you know, December, or sorry, September to uh, November. We haven't really seen much movement up higher than that, while Litecoin is basically just exploding in price and setting new highs for the year every single month. So there is more potential within Litecoin. In terms of short-term investing, they both look great as of right now. Bitcoin and Ethereum, let's wrap up with uh, with those two cryptos. You can see Bitcoin did break bearish from its ascending triangle. For those of you who don't see that, ignore my weird drawing. This is the ascending triangle. You can see here, this makes a triangle and it's headed up. And we broke bearish from that and started to retrace back down. Now, it does look like it does have a pretty strong support at 72.50. That's something I recommend you guys check out as well. If not, we will most definitely retrace back down our high low MMA. So a great buying opportunity would be down at that 72.50 level. And then inevitably at the high low MMA, as it starts to retrace back up, they'll obviously meet somewhat in the middle here. And maybe it'll you know, close at 6,900 or even higher. I, I think by the time we get down to here as this price starts potentially consolidating down, which I don't think it's gonna continue downwards, but we'll see, it'll meet up with that price and it could be right along the $6,900 level. Lastly, for Ethereum, and then we'll wrap up today's episode. Ethereum was a prime coin in um, this week's charting. I really, really, really like Ethereum for numerous reasons. I think this was the most clear chart out of all the cryptocurrencies, mainly because of how beautiful its ascending triangle formed right here and how beautifully it broke out of that into a 
white bearish you know candle before we saw this weird spike and i w i made a video and then you could quote me on this that i said that ascending triangles within cryptocurrency usually tend to break bearish while on stocks they tend to break bullish but crypto is a whole different market so when we saw this weird flux that shot us all the way up to 290 i actually thought we were breaking bullish and i thought i was wrong and then we retraced back down and then we closed the candle right where we started. But what actually happened is we just continued right back on into our you know, pattern and then we actually broke bearish. So I wasn't wrong in regards to the fact that these ascending triangles like to break bearish and that is exactly what happened. So it's beautiful. The markets are now back in a territory where they look very primed and ready to go on the RSI. Trading at 50 for most of the coins gives us plenty of potential to move higher. The retracement is bottom. <clears throat> and on Ethereum, this looks like the bottom. So if I think if we're going to base our um, previous levels and uh, kind of where we could potentially move to, it would be to look at Ethereum because Ethereum has a very clear for sure level of support, which is 230 through 232. And that inevitably could be where we stop and then see Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP start to retrace up higher. Even in fact that we're tracing or, or we're trading at 50 on the RSI, it gives plenty of potential within Ethereum and the rest of the markets. Otherwise, guys, that's going to sum up today's episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, giveaway at 10K. So make sure to smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.